2003, I implemented back propagation algorithm in C++ and that was my uh, college uh, last year project. So the neural not network concepts have been there for many, many years. So why is it that in last few years uh, deep learning is uh, picking up and it is becoming so much popular? In this video, we are going to discuss few reasons on uh, why it is taking off. Number one reason is uh, the growth in the volume of data. If you look at any business nowadays, they have some kind of IT adoption. They will be using some software to manage their business. They will also be having mobile app. This wasn't the case a few years back. And because of that, the business transaction data, the volume of that data is increasing. Also in social media, so many people are posting their content, their photos, their likes, dislikes, and so on. And because of the growth in the social media data, it has become possible to do many interesting things such as a Twitter sentiment analysis. So deep learning works better if the volume of data is higher. That's the general principle behind neural networks that you need to have a huge volume of data. And since the volume of data has grown up in terms of business and personal data, it makes sense to deep, uh, do deep learning now. Number two reason is advancement in hardware. Back in 2003, my laptop had only 500 megabyte RAM, 500 or even less than that. And it used to take hours to run my uh, deep learning job. Nowadays, same job I can run on my computer within seconds. So computer hardware uh, has advanced so much. Also, we have come up with a specialized hardware such as GPU and TPU. When you talk about GPU, of course, the name that comes to your mind is NVIDIA. I used to work for NVIDIA and I've seen the evolution of GPUs. GPUs are awesome when you want to run uh, computation in parallel. And deep learning is perfect for that. So deep, uh, you can run uh, your deep learning job on uh, NVIDIA GPUs. Also, TPU is TensorFlow Processing Unit. It is something that Google has started building recently. And uh, there also you can uh, learn a deep learning job uh, so, e so much easily. So all these GPUs, TPUs and computer hardware advancements are making it possible for normal people like you and me uh, where we can run our jobs either locally on computer or in the cloud. Third reason is Python and open source ecosystem. This is probably the most important reason Previously, when I was doing deep learning back in 2003, it was C++ and it is hard to write programs in C++. You need to be a software engineer. But Python is very, very easy programming language to learn. Even a student who is in a fifth grade can learn Python. So nowadays what's happening is many mathematicians or people from statistics background, if they don't know programming, they can learn Python in few days and they can uh, write uh, deep learning uh, programs. This was not possible before. C++, Java, these are, hard, uh, pro, these are the programming languages which are hard to learn. And Python is so easy that it's making uh, it possible that any person can come in, he, can, he or she can learn programming in few days and can start doing uh, deep learning if you have math and statistics background. The other thing is the deep learning uh, frameworks such as PyTorch and Tensor, TensorFlow. PyTorch is by Facebook, TensorFlow is by Google. So these frameworks are something that you can install on your computer for free and then you can start uh, writing uh, programs which makes use of neural networks. The other reason that deep learning is advancing is uh, because of cloud. Nowadays, if you don't have GPU or TPU, you can uh, rent a server on cloud and you can run deep learning job on the cloud. So you don't need to invest in um, hardware, right? You, because if you buy less a GPU, TPU or a heavy computer, it, you might have to spend a lot of money. But nowadays, if you want to play with it, just uh, rent a computer on cloud and you can run it there. So the entry barrier overall is becoming less and less, both in terms of cost as well as uh, in terms of learning curve. And nowadays we are living in an AI boom where every company, every business wants to do artificial intelligence and AI. Google announced that they are going from mobile first to AI first approach. And every big companies are now following their footsteps. If you are not in machine learning or AI, you are kind of running behind. So that's what 
um, majority of uh, the business executives uh, they, they want to invest money into artificial intelligence and machine learning and that further accelerates the growth of deep learning so these are some of the reasons why deep learning is taking off in the next video we are going to look into what is neural network so i will use a simple analogy and explain you what exactly is neural network